Okay, we just got back from Bee Barn in Paducah, Kentucky, and uh, they, we actually had a problem. We got packaged bees originally, and we're gonna take the packaged bees, which is just a box with bees and a queen in it, and we were gonna put it in our top bar hive. Uh, but something came up, they weren't able to do that, uh, wasn't able to come in this week. So while I went there, uh, I went ahead and picked up a nook. And a nook is this right here. It has five frames in it. It has brood, uh, and it also has pollen in it as well. So there's hundreds of bees in here, and I'm getting ready to let them out here in a second. But while I was there, I also got a great deal on another hive. So apparently uh, somebody who's pretty big in the industry uh, sold some of their hives off and I actually was able to buy this one, uh, a brood box and a super, the bottom and also the lid, I was able to get all of that for like $35. So I'll actually have two different hives here. So we'll have the Langstroth here and we'll have uh, a top bar hive over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let the bees get acclimated to being here. They're already trying to somewhat crawl out um already anyway so i'm gonna go get suited up and then i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna let, let the bees out so that they can get used to being here right now now because the frames and everything are already here they're not going to go anywhere they're just going to get acclimated to where they're at right now and then later this evening when i come back i'll switch them over into this hive right here so i'll uh get back with you when i start doing that Okay, if you don't mind, just real quick for everyone, can you tell us what is the difference between the top bar and the Langstroth? Is that what it's called? Uh huh. Okay, what's the difference okay, between the, the, both of them? The, the Langstroth or Longstroth, however you want to call it, it actually is going to use square frames. And I've got some of those frames uh, in the back of the truck, but there's going to be, there are square frames inside the nook that I just bought. So those frames that are inside of there is this long and it'll fit right down inside of the box. Okay. Okay, so once I get done cleaning this box out and transporting them, the frames will fit in there. So they're like this, a square frame. Whereas the top bar is just one bar going across the top and they actually naturally make their own comb hanging down. And that's why I wanna try that one because that's more natural. A man invented this. So, but that right there is a natural way that bees work. Okay, so the top bar is they will make their own comb the way they want to make it. Yeah, yeah. And they'll make it to the shape, to the of, shape they of, want of the hive, of the hive rather hive. than somebody making a square frame and, and that has you a frame. Put your wax right. in that square frame. I got you. Okay. So thank that's you. the difference. All right. Well, thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. All right. Bye bye. All right, so I'm back. I went in the house, I suited up. I've got my gloves, I've got my protection going. And so I'm gonna take the top off of the nuke, which has the pink top on it. And the bees are gonna come out, you'll see them come out. And then I'm gonna take the frames and I'm gonna set each one of the frames inside of uh, the box where I'm gonna be keeping my brood. So the brood box is what, what the queen lays all the eggs that keep pollen and stuff there. And then the box that's gonna be on top is called the super and that box is going to be used for the hunting and so i'll go ahead and show you what we're going to be doing and we will go from there all right so there's another thing that i meant to tell you before i got started because while i'm dealing with the bees i may not remember uh there's two kind of frames that you can use you can use the wooden frames or you can use plastic frames now i went ahead and got plastic frames this time and I'm going to explain to you why I'm just experimenting with them okay so plastic frames these are like food grade uh, frames but they also have wax on them so I don't know if you can feel that you want to scratch your finger across it mm -hmm. okay and here's yeah, wax on the bottom mm -hmm. so that's what the, the bees are going uh, to start working with because they smell wax all right so this is not a natural frame it is plastic uh, however, uh, my time, I have very limited time a lot, so it's a lot easier for me to start with these, and I'll be spending a lot of time on frames with the, uh, with the top bar. All right, so I'm gonna be using these today. This is my hive tool. I use this to separate frames. Uh, sometimes the bees will lay wax all over the place, and you gotta kinda scrape the wax off. 
Uh, also, they like to seal up different areas. You also got to use that to break stuff open. So they, they really try to make it, I don't want to say airtight, but they try to make it to where nothing can get into their hives uh, or anything. So we're going to go ahead and pop the top and I'm going to start moving the frames over. So if you see the camera drop real fast, you know that my wife, <laughs> she's got something after. I'll scoot back a little bit. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and put these in. I'm gonna to have to add a couple of frames to the bottom box because the, the way that the nukes come, they don't have all of the frames in them. So we'll be sure to add them in. I've noticed also since we have gotten home the bees are somehow finding a way to get out. Yeah, we had a couple in the car with us. Yeah. So they are definitely ready to come outside. So do you want to take a, you want to bring the camera over here? Sure. We'll show them what it actually will look like inside. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is what's going to be my super. And for those of you who all don't understand what that is, the bottom box, it's called a brood box. That's where the queen will lay the eggs. The top box is gonna be where they're gonna store pollen, also honey. So I'll get my honey frames from out of the top. The reason why I went with plastic is because a lot of times when I'm trying to get the my frames out and they have uh, put the wax and stuff all around it, sometimes my frames break. And I just didn't wanna fool with that. This I don't have a lot of time to be able to deal with that. So I got the plastic so that they won't crack and break on me while we're doing it so uh, but this is what it looks what it looks like and on the inside they'll be going in between each one and doing their work all right so I want to step back now I'm... yeah that's a wasp yes I know <laughs> the wasps were for some reason are attracted to the bees I don't know why that's true. oh hold on <laughs> hold on let us get back Okay, we can see they're they're pretty docile right now. So can you see that? I can see all those bees. What about the other side. Absolutely. That's a good that's a good move. Yep. I'm sorry, buddy. Ow! I'm just kidding. Oh my goodness. So the queen is going to be on one of these frames and my queen is marked.
So you can see this one right here is one of the black frames. That's a plastic? Yeah, you want to come up and look at it? You see how they lay the car? Oh, no, that's okay. <laughs> I can see it good from here. They're probably really not very happy right now. They're not. But they are, are a little calmer than I thought. Okay, here's, here's Honey. So yeah. Honey's already on it. Yeah, this is a frame of Honey. Okay, so they've already started making a queen cell, a couple of them. What is a queen cell? A queen cell is a cell that they're, uh, that they're getting ready to use to make another queen. So I'm going to have to get rid of that. And so you do that because you don't want two queens? Uh, yeah, don't want two queens. They'll abscond or they'll leave. If another queen grows, uh -huh. part of the hive will take off with it. Okay. So you always have to check your hive just to make sure that, uh, there's no extra queens. And so for these, there's some inside of here. You'll just take them in. Like these on here, we'll take them and then you'll just leave them on the ground and eventually they'll go in. Man, I missed this. You want me to grab a camera and bring it over? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So this is what they look like inside. So I've just taken them from this cart right here. They call this a nuke. And I just put them over here and got them on the frame. So right now, all I'm doing is scooting the frames back because I'm going to add one more frame to them. We'll take one more frame, which is actually what I have left. And we will slide this down in there very gently as to not hurt any of the bees. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna close the lid, put the lid on this. I'm going to take the other box, which is called a super. And I'm going to put it on. Okay, so this is the second box uh, that's on it. And we've got a lid that we're going to put on as well. 
and I, I do have a feeder that I can open this up and put a feeder on at the top uh, but I'm not going to do that at this point but so they're going to start to learn their way in and out of the hive like they've got some of them already messaging how to come in and out of the hive so they're already looking you still have some that are left over but eventually today they will all work their way inside because that's where the queen is all right hope you uh, hope you guys learned something uh, just like I am bye bye Thank you.